Alright guys, well let's take a look at the latest modification for the DaVinci Pro 1.0. Now if you guys recall, years ago when I first started I was having an issue with the hose pulling out of the end here. What would happen is it would just push out of the quick connect coupling. And so what I did was I added this compression fitting. And it, what, it has a little ferrule that slips over the hose and that ferrule helps lock this hose in and so I don't have that pushing out any longer my latest modification so what we've done is we've replaced this little coupling here that has this rubber hose that goes down into the head and we've replaced it with a just a straight quick connect push to connect fitting here and this prevents this from moving around and binding. I've seen a lot of kits out there with just a piece of copper tube right here that replaces this rubber hose and it's slightly bent and I'm sure that that might work but I wanted to be able to get rid of this coupling here altogether and so what I came up with is a bushing. So let's uh disassemble this and I'll show you what we've got okay so your printer is going to look like this and in order to remove this piece there is a screw now this is the front of the screw but you'll see the, just the thread sticking out you're going to have to reach in from the inside you're going to have to pull your carriage forward and you're going to need a a torque screwdriver and you're going to I reach in from the back here and unscrew that. You can probably get it with a little small Allen wrench if you don't have a Torx. You can probably get it loose. It's not that tight. And then we're just going to lift this off like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that screw and we're going to put it in and get it started on this side. And when we do our modification, we're going to screw it in from the front side. That makes it easy to install and remove. Next, we're going to pull out this piece here. And this little rubber bushing here may come out with it. Um, we're going to remove those, these two pieces here. And then you can remove this cover here. Now this cover just pops off just clips here Clip the, un pop this side and pop that side and then this just comes off like so now this little rubber thing might be still in here and if it is you can just pull that out we're gonna what we're gonna do is that's where we're going to be screwing in our uh, fitting here Okay, now that we have this disassembled, we're going to just go back and assemble it all together. Now the first piece is the bushing. Uh, this bushing has a flat on it because this piece here, the hole is off center. It's closer to one side, so we're going to put the flat towards the short side here. Uh, one side here is threaded. That's going to be for the... Uh, push to connect fitting so that's going to go in there like so so after we get that in there you make sure that that's fairly in the center we want to just hold it with our finger here and then we want to put this nut plate in here now you can see that the nut is not exactly in the center so the short distance there goes in first and the nut goes facing towards you and then you want to again hold all that in place and then make sure that the nut is lined up there and then we're just going to turn this around and clip it in on this hook here and rotate it down. Hold, trying to hold all this in place. Slide your finger out of the way. Like so. You can put your finger in through here to hold the uh, bushing in place slightly. Take this little rubber hose that you removed before and just push this down slightly, about an eighth of an inch. And that's going to push that uh, Teflon into that uh, guide that's inside there that's going to kind of just hold this in place slightly 
Then we can screw our fitting on here. That's just going to be kind of hand tightened. Just snug it up a little bit with a pair of pliers there. It doesn't have to be real tight. And that's kind of in place there. And we just need to tighten up the screw here into the uh, nut plate. Uh, this is a M3 and I believe it's a T10 Torx. Make sure that you have the washer here. Space that out. Doesn't need to be super tight, just snug. Make sure that that is working. And that's it. Now we just have to snap this back together. Check your hose. You can see this one's kind of worn here. That's going to surely cause your push to connect fitting to fail. Uh, you can snip that off if you don't have this too short already or just replace this hose. Go ahead and push that back in. Lock it in and then now that's not going anywhere. We can go ahead and put our print head back in. Uh, this is a modified print head. This is an E3D print head that I purchased years ago. It's been working really well. Pop that back in. And then we're just going to secure our cabling back up here to the top with the supplied wire tie. Then we'll just clip that off. And you should be back in business. And hopefully trouble free. With the binding. Alright, so let's get this fired up. We'll get the filament pushed through there. You want to make sure that... Um, filament feeds through there without any kind of binding. Well alright, uh, printed out some of these nut plates. Uh, looks pretty good. So I think this is going to work out just fine. If you guys are interested in a modification like this, I'll uh, post the link in the video description. You can stop by the website and pick this up. I'm going to uh, put together a little kit and uh, offer it to you because I know that after I did this modification I had a lot of people inquiring about this I think this will be something that some of you will be interested in alright guys well that will wrap up this video so if you're interested in this new modification when I machined the bushing for this one I went ahead and machined uh, a few more and so I'll have those available on the website uh, it'll consist of the bushing, a piece of Teflon tubing, a washer to go on the screw there, the nut plate, and this fitting. And if you're interested in the original modification for the feed tube uh, coming out of the pusher here, then I'll also include a link for you to... Uh, pick up that modification. It'll come with a piece of tubing and also a compression fitting. That's all you really need. So guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on the that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Also, click on that notification bell. That way when I post a new video like this one, if it's something that you're interested in, you'll be notified and you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.